Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. It's been gloomy lately and I am craving some summery flavors, specifically falafel. Um, I'm just learning to make falafel. I'm new at this. Um, it took me a little while to understand that if you start with canned beans, things go sideways. Um, so anyway, it's delicious. I scored some Meyer lemons at the grocery store the other day and I was like, mm -hmm. add some parsley to that list and some garlic too. So um, we're going to make something delicious. Come on along. What I love most about this dish is that it's really simple ingredients. We're gonna use a half of a yellow onion, uh, five nice big fat cloves of garlic, use a cup of flat leaf parsley, and three to four green onions. So I'm not chopping anything finely. It's all going in the food processor. Just a nice rough chop. That is about a half teaspoon of pepper, tablespoon of salt, two teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of ground coriander, and one teaspoon of baking powder. So there's our spice mixture. If you had anything else that you wanted to add to it, now would be the time. The majority of what we're gonna do is all gonna happen right here in the food processor on the pulse function. <laughs> um, it's This is both easier and messier than I thought it was gonna be. That's okay, it's delicious. Here are the important notes. First of all, if you think your food processor is too, too full, it probably is. I tried to work it all together the last time I did this and it was really, really messy and I did not enjoy the process, Sam I am. So what I'm gonna do today is work this in batches. So I've spilled out my three cups dry chickpeas into the sink. These have, these soaked overnight, um, actually longer than overnight. I absolutely gave these 24 hours. Um, it just, it makes the bean easier to deal with. Gonna be so patient. This is still too sandy and it won't stick together. So I'm gonna put it back in there for a few more pulses. It's starting to stick together nicely. I'm literally going to rinse and repeat um, until I get down to the last batch. So I'll meet you back here when we do that. We're down to our last batch of chickpeas. I have this pretty big bowl here, but all of it is unseasoned. So this is the point at which we're gonna add our aromatics A little bit broken down in here now, but just a little bit. So I'm gonna add our spices to this. Now I'm gonna pulse this for a little bit um, and just get everything really well incorporated, break the rest of the chickpeas down. That way when I add it to the bowl with the other batches, it's seasoned and we can get the distribution even. I wish you could smell this. This has such a nice scent. It's um, it's a little bit pumpkin-y, like fresh pumpkin. And then you can smell that parsley on top. So nice. So this is the texture that we're really looking for. It holds together really well. 
This is exactly what we want. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge and let it rest. This can even, this can sit in the fridge for up to three days. Um, and you can, I think you can even freeze it, which the potential. <laughs> One of the things that I've noticed in the last few months while I've been working on um, feeding us as a family in a more healthy kind of manner has been um, use of fresh ingredients. You know, they're easy, right? Uh, you know what fresh ingredients means? It, what it really means is I have to cook. And sometimes I just don't, I don't have the energy all the time, you know, and I find myself reaching for convenience foods. So here's what I'm thinking. If I can make these wholesome foods convenient, hey, <laughs> I think that might be where some magic happens. So I'm thinking it might be worth taking a day or two to just cook um, and do that kind of thing. And I wonder if I could make those into little falafel rounds and then freeze those for when we're ready and just fry them at that point. Hashtag future plans. That's gonna sit until the evening when I'm ready to cook it. In the meanwhile, I wanna put together my tzatziki, which is a garlicky cucumber, dill, Greek yogurt. It's, it's so very good and it tastes so very nice on on this falafel. So um, come on along, let's get that done. This part you're gonna wanna do by hand just cause it comes out so much better than if you run it through the food processor. Um, so I have my nifty, nifty difty box grater. I got a, what even is this? An English cucumber dealie. I, I think they're seedless. Um, anyway, I got one of these. I usually use a couple to three like of those little Persian cucumbers when I make tzatziki, but they were out. So here we go. I'm going to grate them in the sink into a strainer because we're gonna squeeze it and remove as much liquid as we can. Okay, that's not bad. The next thing that's going in here is a large amount of garlic. There is no recipe. This is one of those dishes that we're just gonna taste as we go. You have two options at this point. You can choose to grate your garlic like you did with the cucumber, or, and this is my favorite method, is to chop it as finely as you like. I like my garlic a little on the chunkier side, so I'm gonna choose to chop mine by hand. I hope you don't mind if I chop my garlic while we talk. Ooh, how y'all doing with, uh, with the change of time, temperature, season out there by you. Raise your hand if you had water in the basement. Not been a fun couple of months as far as like stuff around the house is going. We have to seal places in the basement, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but you know what? I'm still getting out of bed. I'm still doing yoga. That's okay. We've made it through the darkest 10 weeks of the year, um, which is great because in a couple more weeks, we're gonna set up our milk jugs and do some winter sewing. Um, I have stuff stratifying in the refrigerator just in case, cause it never looked like it was gonna get cold enough and it just didn't. So I just left them in the refrigerator. Um, I have some chestnuts in there. I think I've got poppy seeds in there. I have to look, but yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Tell me what are you doing for winter sowing? Tell me what you're doing. I was gonna do everything except tomatoes, eggplants, peppers, and then I thought, well, there are always more seeds than I expect in these packets, so I'm gonna try a side-by-side. -side. I'm gonna start one under the lights and we'll see how that does compared with the ones that I put in the milk jugs. <laughs> but I have a ton of milk jugs waiting for me downstairs in the basement and I cannot wait to break into them. I'll need to pick up some duct tape, I think, um, if we don't have any in the house, which I feel like we probably have a lot of duct tape in the house. I'll look into it. Duct tape? Okay, so it's not, there's my hand for reference, which also isn't big, but it's a little chunky. I like that. I like that burst. I opened this the other day and it looks like there's still 
There's at least two and a half, three cups in there. I think back to the days when I was 11 and plain yogurt was insulting. So I've added the cucumber and the garlic. I'm gonna add a few shakes of dill weed to this. Had I fresh, I would use the fresh, but I do not have the fresh. If you like a sauce that is thinner, more drizzleable, you can always add a little bit of water to this or a little bit of cream. Let's see how this came out. Cheers. Mm. I love that crisp garlic punch. It's a little bit chew on it. Mm. It's smooth and cooling and creamy. You could add fresh mint to this. That would be really nice too. I think I'm gonna add another half a lemon. Just bring up the high end a little bit. Ooh, had I thought about it before I squeezed the lemons. Zest from the lemons would have been super nice in this too. All right, let's see what we've got. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right where we want it. It's nice and tart, but it's balanced. It's a little sweet because of the variety of the lemon and it's super garlicky. This is gonna go really, really great with our falafel. Mm. Right, so I'm gonna get the sauce into the refrigerator and let it chill until um, dinner time. In the meanwhile, I'm gonna go work on a remodeling project that we've got going on in the other room, and I will see you all a little before dinner time. Hello again. My gentleman husband is hanging some art for me. Thank you. You are welcome. So while Bill, so while Bill takes care of that stuff, while Bill is working on that, I'm gonna get some oil started here. I've got this on four, uh, which is pretty low. It's going to get hotter as long as it sits. So um, we're gonna find ourselves lowering the temperature as this process goes on. Here's our batter straight out of the fridge. I'm gonna mix it up to make sure that, yeah, a lot of the, the moisture dropped to the bottom. So let's just mix this up real good. I have about a half inch of oil. I use just plain old vegetable oil. You could use canola oil. If you like the taste of an olive oil, you could use that. It's gonna take a little while to come to temp. And meanwhile, I'm gonna make little falafels to fry. to these falafel set up. Um, more than is gonna go in the pan, which is ready. And give them one more little smush before they go into the oil. We'll let these cook for about three minutes, flip them, and then two to three minutes on the other side. Do that before it gets super hot. Been about three minutes, so let's peek under here. And oh, look at that perfect golden brown! All right, oh, come on, everybody. I'll let those go another um, couple of minutes. Keep making patties while this goes. We'll take a look then. These look good. I just flipped this one over. Let's see where looking all right here. I see how much it foamed up there when I put the next batch in. What I'm gonna do is turn this down just a little bit more. And I'm gonna turn it down to two. Otherwise, the last of them are gonna be totally burnt. Mm. 
they're light and fluffy and gently spiced, but you can still really get the cumin in there. It's a nice kick. It's crunchy. Here, take a look at the inside of this. It's definitely sunshiny, you know? Mm. You can serve this with all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm gonna serve it with just the uh, tzatziki and some tomatoes and maybe some lettuce. Um, but you can roll it up in like a, like in Syrian bread or in a pita and add all that stuff in there and then drizzle on whatever you want. A lot of people like tahini in there. I am out right now. So we're going to skip that. And I'm probably just going to steam up some sweet potatoes to enjoy with it. Hello. Hi. Um, I, he doesn't know this falafel is as good as it is. Hang on. I really don't. Okay, so there's sauce over there. Okay. You're, you're gonna need like a spoon or something. This is warm, it's nice and warm. Uh, okay. Okay, good. good. You want a spoon for the garlic? Oh, it's hot. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> it makes up for his disinterest in the baba ganoush. I'll, I'll eat all the baba ganoush. <clears throat> it's all yours. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the crunch. Mm. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Tell me I'm a snack genius. You're a snack genius. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me today while I made dinner. We will catch you up soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll do a better shot with this. Okay. okay. So...